So this is what I see on the Nest Hub Max 90% of the time. Why did I buy the Nest Hub Max if it does the same thing? Stay with me till the end of the video and I'll tell you five reasons why I went ahead and upgraded to the Nest Hub Max. So the number one biggest reason to upgrade from the Nest to the Nest Hub Max is the bigger screen size. The bigger screen size is a whopping 10 inch compared to the older one. So if you look at the older one, it's comparable to an iPad mini. But if you look at the bigger Nest Hub Max, it's comparable to an iPad regular model. If you're in for a bigger screen size, if you put it somewhere far away in the living room, I would definitely recommend you go with the bigger screen size because any kind of notifications you get, any kind of YouTube videos that you wanna watch, it gives you really good viewing angles when you're looking at it compared to a smaller screen. So one of the reasons that I wanted to upgrade was there are so many times that you ask Google the temperature. So for example, if I ask, what's the temperature in New York? In New York City, New York, it's currently 83 degrees. So it tells you the temperature and everything, but I wanted a system where I don't have to constantly go and ask Google what the temperature is outside. The way that I could do that was getting a bigger interface. Having the bigger interface really helps because you're not constantly asking at the time and Google Hub Max has the ability where you can change the display and then you can just look at it and see what the temperature is in addition to, to the time. So I would recommend having that instead of just looking at the smaller screen. You can see that they have the Google Weather Frog feature and that's really helpful if you wanna look at the temperature. But the one thing that I wish they had done was made the font a little bit bigger. If you look at the font from far away, you cannot tell what the temperature is and neither the time unless you have this by your bedside table and you're looking at it all day long. Google, please go ahead and upgrade the font and make it a little bit bigger. Those of us that need to see it properly can see it properly. Weather Frog may be available on this device, but because this was a bigger display, I opted to get the bigger display. One of the reasons to get it, you can see the temperature and the clock at the same time in a bigger format. And keep in mind that this is a 1280 display, it's not a 1920 by 1080p. So it is a bigger display, but the resolution isn't comparable to that of an iPad. Okay, the third big reason being the speaker system in this, obviously it's bigger, so it has a bigger speaker system, but it's not only one speaker like we had in the smaller device. It is a 2.1 speaker system. If you look at it up close and you look at it from behind, you can see how big of a speaker system it has on the back. So I'm not sure if the entire grill has a concealed speaker, but it looks like a pretty big speaker. And then you can look at it here on the back of this one, you can see the speaker system in the back of this one. This is one of the advantages that you get. I would say the sound is good, but it's not terrific. It's not really, you know, a heavy bass sound. The fourth reason is obviously the camera in this system. This one does not have a camera. This one does have a camera. Does the camera make a huge difference? Now, personally, I'm not a big fan of having cameras in smart home devices because from a security standpoint, you never know, right? You don't know if someone's looking at you or not. So I usually just cover up the camera with a sticker or something like that. But I think in this case, it does have a button on the back where you can push that button and you can enable and disable the system. So that gives you a little bit of peace of mind. The camera you can use from a security standpoint where you can remotely log in and look through the camera just like you do with a security camera. That is one advantage. And then you can also call people, but the only thing that you can call is if you have an account on Google Voice or something like that. So it really doesn't benefit you when it comes to having the camera there other than taking selfies or photos or looking at your house remotely. So it is a good feature to have, but it's uh, not the best feature in my opinion. Okay, the fifth and the last reason and the most obvious reason that I got this was, this device is connected to our Nest doorbell and every time the doorbell rings, we had to squint to see who was at the door, but with this device, it has a larger display. It, it lets us know instantly who's at the door without having to squint our eyes and to see who's at the door or not. So that's one of the big reasons that I got this. But would I upgrade from this device to this device? I would say if the price is right, I would go ahead and upgrade. Other than that, there are more features in this and you would most likely benefit only in the case if you have a Google 
Nest infrastructure in your home. Like if you have thermostats, if you have a doorbell, if you have Google Nest cameras, if you have, you know, Google assistance in your home. So we talked about the five reasons I upgraded to the Nest Hub Max. There were some pros and there were obviously a lot of cons. So if you think the Nest Hub Max is beneficial, do go ahead and upgrade to it because there are certainly a lot of features that you could use. If you like this video, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.